Welcome everyone, Bolt here once again with more Blitzkrieg 3. We are going to invade Poland, it is August 31, 1939, and we're just gonna have a ton of fun. Before we start off, I know that a lot of you guys don't like the uh, Blitzkrieg 3 multiplayer, but maybe you guys will enjoy the single player campaigns, so we're just gonna give those a try. And uh, yeah, just let me know down below what you think of this. Don't try to look at it as Men of War. I know a lot of you played Blitzkrieg 1 and 2, and we're really disappointed at this, at the third one, which I understand completely, by the way. But uh, yeah, just see this as like a completely new game. Uh, it would, it might make you feel a little bit better because it, it is actually quite fun, like to play against AI and stuff. It's just a casual strategy game that you want to play once in a while if you don't want to really do um, anything competitively, like Men of War, Assault Squad, or Call to Arms, or anything similar. Here we go. All right, so this is actually based off of a real event during or before World War II, where Germany basically killed their own soldiers. To, uh, to give Germany, uh, you know, the excuse that they needed to invade Poland. Which didn't really make any difference, like people know, knew that they uh, just did it themselves. But uh, still, quite, quite sneaky. Alright, so we're gonna take out these guards so that we can go towards those barracks in peace. We got a silent sniper rifle over here, we're just gonna take them all out one by one. And yeah, this game is fun to uh, just do the campaigns. Um, there was an update for the multiplayer. So I don't know how that is. Like you can play against um, you can play against players in like in real time. So people have to actually act to defend their bases. Of course, it's still not the same as Men of War or Call to Arms or Blitzkrieg One and Two, but uh, yeah, it's a, it's a welcome change, that's for sure. Right, let's finish this last one as well. There we go. Move towards the custom station. Roger that. We got a few towers here that we need to take out, I think. Yep. Let's take those out. Sniped them out. We got, uh... We got Sniper Elite Dude over here. Oh, there's one more over here. But yeah, hopefully you guys will, um, enjoy this campaign, though. Come on, buddy. Shoots him. There we go. <coughs> Roger that. Let's regroup here with our reinforcements. We are all in Polish uniforms, by the way. Roger that. Let's kill our own men to give us a reason to start the war. It's going down. There we go. Alright, well, we killed those guys. That should give the higher up powers a reason to assault. German or Polish border guards have not noticed anything. 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 <laughs> so I think we're good for now. There's an attack coming up, actually. Looks like. Are those Germans or... I think those are Germans. Alright, let's quickly get our sniper in uh, in this building over here. Move the SMG up. Okay, let's get him in here. There we go. Another attack coming up from the northeast. We can probably repel this as well. Hopefully. But yeah, after that, 
we got a few more objectives to do and it actually gets really really intense so I do uh, recommend you guys watching a little bit more just a little bit just a wee bit all right I think we're done over here so our next objective is to take the communication center over here the radio tower so that we can broadcast our um, our uh, propaganda so we're just gonna quickly get our guys out of their garrisons and move them up uh, we're just gonna group up the uh, sniper in a separate group and get the rest of them in a separate group too and move up so yeah Blitzkrieg 3 I think we already shared or summarized what everyone thinks but uh, yeah, what do you guys think of this game? Like, if you did not play Blitzkrieg 1 and 2, and if you did, what do you think of it? Like, as a... not as a sequel, but as a completely standalone game. Get these guys to fire here. Gotta just heal up with the sniper real quick. Alright, let's move up. Oh, we got a. Uh, what was that? 2 2 2? It is actually a 2 2 2. Nice. Oh, we got some reinforcements coming up. Oh boy. Alright, let's help him out. Oh, AT grenades, that'll do. Nice. Alright. I think we clear it out. Just one building left. Let's breach that. Tank coming up somewhere. Roger that. Come on, boys. I'm still waiting. Oh, here we go. Jesus. Let's get in those buildings real quick. Go. We got an enemy tank. Let's see what that is. Panzer three, even. Panzerkampfwagen. I think that's what it actually means, right? Oh, we got plenty of AT grenades, so we should be able to take him out without a without a problem. Oh, we lost a the truck there. Right, he's done. Beautiful. That's it. All right, let's load up. We're gonna hit the road and assault Poland. Ladies and gentlemen, gotta get in these trucks. Here we go. Main assault begins. So it is going to be an all-out battle after this. That that was just a preparation. Bamete Scheiße. Those are some nice effects, actually. 
buildings are crumbling away. But yeah, it would be cool to have a multiplayer map or mode. But it's just player v player. Alright, here we go. Time to get a revenge for the slain citizens of Sacred Germany. Let's go. So we got some tanks there at our disposal. Panzer 3s and Panzer 2s. So we got some light tanks and a medium tank. I think. Yep. So we're gonna group these up. We got plenty of infantry here as well. We're gonna group them all up. And it looks like our ally is actually attacking as well. So we might wait for these guys to move first. And then kind of try to support these guys. So we need to take over these three checkpoints. Basically take them all out and then move deeper into the town. Go for their second defensive lines. Like those AT guns. And then keep moving further and further uh, inwards towards their HQ. Alright, let's move. Gonna quickly get all of our men up. They do have a light machine gun, so we want to keep some of our infantry back. Don't want to move them all up now. Let's just line up our tanks. Alright, we're, we're doing a lot of damage now to that. Panzer of three those kicking ass. Boom. Yep, they're retreating. Good, we took the first first position. All right, we could just go towards the second ones immediately. I don't need to push for all of these, but it looks like we're pushing in the south, so we might actually do that. All right, let's uh, group up our tanks over here. Get the infantry in a separate group here as well. Should we make that group number four? These guys will be number three. All right, here we go. We're gonna hit them with everything we got. Don't want to move into that gun range though. That'll be bad. Go, Panzer, go. Don't want to move too. Don't want to move too close now. Oh, come on. That is exactly what you're not supposed to do. All right, we're gonna get some infantry in these buildings. Get this party started. All right, that AT gun might be a big issue, though. Let's quickly check over here. In the far south. That tower needs to go. There we go. Now we can actually have a line of sight on it. All of our infantry, though. Okay, it's over there. I was afraid we lost all of them. Alright, well, time to attack. Oh, shit, these guys are getting wrecked. I didn't even notice that. Alright, we got a bomber at our disposal. That's good. That'll definitely help us out. Just gotta kill the infantry over here. Actually, coming up with AT grenades, that's not going to be good. Got to keep falling back. That's going really well. All right, so we have one bomber, but I want to kind of save him for something more, more serious. Okay, let's move up. Oh, that's a lot of shit. All right, so we got a seven seven TP. That's a light tank, so we shouldn't be too worried about that. Just gonna quickly move up our tanks towards it. Our tanks over there are just standing by. We just gotta kill this guy first. There we go, the Panzer 3 got that. We got that covered. Right, so we're gonna move these guys in that building. Tanks will move up. Some of our infantry will move into the forest. We're gonna go for this gun. Go, buddy, go. If we take that gun out, we'll be in a really good 
really good uh, situation here. We're gonna move up our infantry to 18-8 this. Those tanks are gonna be a pain in the butt. A lot of ricochets. Oh, that's a lot of infantry there. Not sure if we can hold that off. Alright, I'm gonna move my tanks up again. Actually, let's move towards the south. I'm gonna reinforce this position. We need to. We might have to call in a bomber. At some point. Let's call out a bomber for this designated position over here. Those are all the barracks and stuff. Make this group number one. All right, those will stand by. Bomber is coming in. Just gotta fall back with this guy. They want to move him up front. coming up. Alright, let's see what this bomber has in store for the Poland. Oh, beautiful. Oh, that did a lot of damage. Alright, well, that did that definitely crippled the enemy's um, recruitment capacity. We're just gonna quickly move up our tanks, try to keep this Blitzkrieg going. See what I did there. And we're gonna attack the... Um, try to help out our 222 over here. Actually, he's dead. Tens of three will be able to take care of this. Let's get some flank shots with some tanks. Flanking does actually matter. Oh shit, there's a lot of stuff over here. Let's fall back. Even an AT gun. That's not gonna end well. Yep, there you go. We will need some more infantry at one point. Some assault infantry would actually be good. Alright, let's fall back a little bit further. These guys are not in a good, not in a good position at all. <clears throat> no, they're actually, uh, they're actually holding off. I think. Okay, I'm gonna take this tank down at least. Kick his butt. Here we go. Alright, we're gonna wait for our allies. So we took down quite a lot of uh, checkpoints. Soldiers have captured some Polish tanks. They are surely nothing compared to ours, but they won't hurt. Oh, beautiful. We got in their flanks. Alright, we're gonna move towards the south. Let's actually hold these guys for now. Gonna group them up as two. Keep them here. Alright, time for the assault. Let's actually move them up towards the infantry. We're going to try to help them out. <clears throat> Cannot hurt. Oh, wow. That's a lot of infantry in this place. Jesus. Hopefully we can do some damage to this, to these guys with these light tanks. They are nothing compared to the German tanks, but still, they pack a punch. There we go. Beautiful. Alright, let's keep moving. We're gonna take care of this infantry over here. Our tanks are doing a good job. Just gotta kill these guys off real quick. Finish him off. Nice. Still got plenty of them left over here. They ain't easy, these Polish soldiers, dude. Like during World War II, they did 
they did the ballsiest thing ever, which was charging machine gun fire with cavalry. Like, who the hell does that anymore? Oh, come on now. <clears throat> Alright, we're gonna wait up over here. We're gonna move up with these guys. We get some reinforcements. Let's move them up. Let's charge the enemy infantry. We lost a tank. That's not good. We do have a 222 now, so we can actually do some more damage to the uh, to the enemy tanks. Ah, beautiful. All out assault. Let's pin some move over here with the Polish units. There we go. All right, we're gonna keep moving. Let's keep this up. We got one more bomber at our disposal, which we can use on one of those checkpoints as soon as we assault those. So far, we're doing good. All right, last guy that we need to defeat. Want to move the 222 back for now? Let's assault all this infantry, and the 22 is definitely gonna be needed to uh, take them down. We need to keep them suppressed with this. <clears throat> All right, time to move in. Wow, that that guy is since he's in cover, he's not really being damaged that much. So they do have some good physics in this game. Well, not physics, but uh, mechanics, I should say. Really nice. All right, let's keep moving. More tanks coming up. Gonna flank around with uh, the Polis, Polish tanks. Oh, good side shots there. That actually does more damage. That's great. All right, we're gonna call out a bomber on this position. That's gonna take a little bit. But in the meantime, we uh, we'll just sit back and enjoy this view. Everything is burning. All right, there we go. What is the name of this bomber, by the way, guys? And tell me some cool stories about this. Like there was a story about a German. Uh, fighter sparing an American plane because it was already damaged and they were still holding up. It was basically respecting their courage, so he basically let them leave. Really cool story. That was not the best bombing run, but we're just gonna go with it. That's all we got. Let's continue our assault. Oh, we got the yeah, that AT gun is uh, definitely gonna need to go down. Beautiful. Alright, the road to the depots and the town center is now free. We killed that last tank there as well. Beautiful. We got one more bomber at our disposal, which we can use to get that guy out of there, actually. Enemy infantry have dug in those houses. They are firing at our forces. We must kick them out. Alright, we're gonna use... Oh my god, there's a lot of shit. Assault infantry squad is waiting your orders, commander. They will drive them out. Alright, uh, a lot of stuff coming up. Let's see, they're actually patrolling. We're gonna fall back. Yeah, we're gonna fall back real quick. Uh, let's see what they got. So, oh my god. We're gonna definitely call out artillery strike on that. No way I'm doing that. Alright, so we got a lot of infantry coming up. A lot of infantry. Let's see, what could we bomb? Well, this entire field is just full of infantry as well. Okay, these guys are just patrolling the area, it seems. Let's take this gun out. Why not? <clears throat> we gotta get rid of this. There we go. Bomber is coming up. In the meantime, we'll move up our infantry. We got some assault squads now. So that'll definitely be very, very useful. Just gotta keep him back. Alright, here we go. That's just a lot of them over there. At least that uh, gets rid of the gun. Well, for the most part, we can just uh, break through this place as soon as we want to attack it. The 222 is gonna need some help. Let's get our infantry in these buildings. And then we should be alright. That's a lot of them over there. Jeez. Doing a good 
job. Okay, I want to split these guys up as well. I'll make this group number three, and the infantry will be four. Okay. What's the hotkey? E, alright. Oh, we're getting suppressed from that uh, tower, that's not good. Move! No, there, there goes our assault squad. Damn it. That was a bad move, we got suppressed heavily. There's just a ton of infantry over here. That is just not normal. It's just unhealthy amounts. Right, I gotta flank around with one guy. Try to get those side shots on that. Oh, that's actually the MG42 that we took. Alright, let's fall back. This is not good. General, fall back, gentlemen. Alright, let's move up in the flank with this guy. Oh, this 2 is not gonna hold. Get a side shot on him. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Here we go. All right, that is done. We just need some more uh, more stuff. We're just gonna move up with the Polish units over here. It seems like we lost some of our infantry. Not too good. But we should be able to pincer move this area and basically finish them all off. We have one more gun here that we need to worry about. And quite a lot of infantry here, but for that we need assault infantry. But first we're gonna open the way for our units to actually arrive at this place. So let's gear up our units. And let's move up as soon as we assault over here, which is right about now. <clears throat> there we go, gun is down. Oh my lord. Alright, all out assault. Keep moving. Holy shit. Okay, this is not good. They are... <laughs> we are absolutely surrounded. Uh, let's retreat. Yeah, this is really not good. We gotta try to thin them out. Some way or the other. We are killing some of them on the way, though. Alright, well, here we'll make our last stand. Kind of. We got an MG42, so hopefully that'll make a difference. Our friendly is actually getting attacked. Let's group them all up as one. We got a friendly 222 coming up. Time to roll. But <laughs> I mean, if we clear out the infantry, then we will have a have an easy have an easy route towards the enemy positions. Just got to clear these guys out real quick. All right, beautiful. Let's move. Let's keep moving. We got the buildings here that we need to clear. We cannot really do that without any assault infantry. We might be able to bomb them out if we get some more uh, command points or supportive points. He's basically cannon. Food, that guy. Right, we got one more tank. Let's uh, get our best tanks up there. Basically all of our tanks, except for any of the light vehicles. And the damaged ones. Come on, buddy. Alright, let's finish them off. These guys will move into the flank over here. Good side shots. Here we go. 
All right, let's see. We need to really, really play this safe. AI is coming up with some more infantry, it seems. So that is going well. We're just gonna try to thin out the infantry here until they arrive. Let's get the machine guns over towards the flank. We also have some infantry, so we're not, we're not completely dead. AI is absolutely unforgiving. And so are some of these missions. Okay, it's gonna be one, this is gonna be two. Actually, let's get this tank over there as well. Alright, AI has arrived. Time to do this push. We got a lot of infantry to work, work through. All right, now time to move into the flank with our machine guns and stuff. <coughs> Man, it's actually working out quite well. Oh, that is a. Come on now. Nice. Okay. Now we need to clear that giant courtyard out. Oh, there's so much shit. Well, I don't want to move into that building. Kills them. There we go. Beautiful work. All right, let's hit this building now. We're actually doing quite a lot of damage with our tanks, so it should go down in a second. Although we need, we do need to watch out with the infantry, which is now almost dead. All right, that should do it. Let's hit the infantry over here. Time to take it for sacred Germany. Some infantry moving up. Don't want to move up with these guys here. All right, friendly two to two has arrived. Let's hit that building. Ooh, enemy positions over here still. Alright, we just bypassed those, it seems. We're doing good. I wish there was a way to repair these tanks, though. Okay, we're taking over this sector, I think. Just some enemies left in these buildings here that we need to clear. Let's quickly give it everything we got. Capping it? Not yet. I think we got something that we need to take out as well. Oh, that building. Oh, shit. That guy's moving into the cannon range. Move back, buddy. Move back. I need to do now. I guess we need to like finish off all of them. All right, let's move up. I'm just gonna charge this position here. We need to take out that gun before we do anything else. I'm sure we get side shot there. That gun is really strong. That AT gun. Much strong. Come on, guys, take it out. Here we go. Time for that tank. <coughs> mm, 
And down she goes. All right, we're capping this position. And no idea what our next objective will be. Hopefully this will give us some action points. So that was it. That was actually the invasion of Poland. It is not a campaign as I thought. It is just like a short historical mission. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. I actually liked it. It was nice, casual, and uh, basically easy to play. Like if you don't want to play those competitive uh, RTSs all the time, you can just jump onto this and have some fun with this. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. The next operation will be Operation Kiwi in Belgium. And I will see you in the next one.